This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It's now time for our entertainment segment, which means we're talking movies, and today we're reviewing The Wolverine. That's right. Uh, another spinoff of the Marvel series, mm -hmm. as we see continual Marvel success at the box office. We're just going to continue to see these movies, and uh, everybody really liked Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, oh, yeah. and we're starting to see some of his own movies as the Wolverine. And, mm -hmm. and this is a movie that kind of takes place after the last X-Men movie, as we see uh, Wolverine kill Jean Grey because she's the Dark Phoenix. She goes out, you know, he disappears, and we don't really know what happens to him. And it kind of follows along with the comic book line. So. The first thing I want to say is if you're not a comic book person, if you're, if you're not a fan of the other X-Men movies, mm -hmm. this probably isn't going to be a movie for right. you. The other thing is, is if you're a comic book nerd like myself, who I spent most of my high school and the past uh, reading comic books, selecting comic books, this was a great movie for me. Uh, even after, and you know, you always, I wish there was a way they would tell you right. ahead of time just stick through the credits because there's something at the end to, to kind of mm -hmm. foreshadow the next movie. So I'm telling everybody, stay through the credits. There's a foreshadowing. If you don't know comic books, mm. you're not going to catch on to the what happens after the credits. Okay. But if you know comic books, they start to hint towards the next movie, which has okay. been kind of hit at Comic-Con, was Days of Our Future Past, which is a whole other uh, right. extent with the X-Men. It's going to be an awesome series, I think. I think they're really going to take off with it. So my question is, for somebody like myself who doesn't follow comic books, doesn't follow the movies, okay. is this something that I'm going to be able to jump into without seeing X-Men and X-Men whatever the second no. one was? It, or do I have to watch you those have in order to to make, least, for this to make sense? Even If you're not a comic book person and you saw the first X-Men mm -hmm. movies, um, you'll, you'll catch on to this one. You'll, okay. you'll understand it. Uh, if you haven't seen those and you're not into comic books, you are going to be completely lost in this movie. Okay. Right. Uh, because there's so much that happens, so much that's foreshadowed and hinted and talked about from the past that you would not know what's going on. So let's talk about the movie really quickly. What's it about? The movie just follows Logan, who is Wolverine, uh, after he leaves the X-Men and kind of goes out and tries to find himself, which follows the comic book to an extent. Um, and it kind of touches on his past. Because of Wolverine's mutant powers, he isn't able to really be killed or die, and he kind of lives forever. Uh, so it kind of hints on his past uh, of when he was in uh, Nagasaki during the dropping of the atomic bomb, uh, and kind of leads to this point. Uh, it, it actually... It, it brings a lot to the plate that happened in the comics that we've kind of been waiting for. The introduction of Silver Fox, um, which she then has kind of a, a, a relationship with down the road in the comics. Um, we see Magneto and Silver Samurai. It, it, a lot of this movie takes place in Japan, which a lot of his extent away from the X-Men in the comic book actually happened in. So uh, it, it's a good movie. I, I mean, if you re like I said, if you really pay attention to the comics or at least to the past, you know, if you don't know his history, mm -hmm. but you want to know about it and you like the X-Men movies, this is a good way to find out okay. what's similar to the comics. Now, if you've read the comics, there's a few things that are, right. you know, changed and adapted towards movies, but uh, for the most part, really sticks to the comic books. Okay, so out of five stars? I'm going to give it three Strictly because a lot, I was a little disappointed in the CG, um, although the fight scenes were awesome. Hugh Jackman does a great job as uh, Logan. Uh, I, I feel like they really shortchanged themselves on the actual CG itself. Okay. Uh, but it, and, and the other part is it's just going to lead to movie after movie, and you can kind of tell they shortened this movie up right. to, and, and try to stretch out different scenes to make them able to do more and more of these movies. Okay, well thanks for that. Not a problem. We'll be right back.